Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Thank you very much for joining. Um, it's been it's been a tough weekend. Um, yesterday we have had 38 degrees here in the Czech Republic, um, which I know for some of you it may be um, just kind of a regular day in the office, um, you know, if you're watching for example from Spain or from, from Italy or Greece or anywhere else uh, where it's just usually quite hot. But for us here in the Czech Republic, um, this is um, relatively, um, you know, out of the extraordinary or out of the ordinary. Um, it's, um, it's it's not really usual that we get this here, um, these these type of um, temperatures. And you know, when you live in a kind of landlocked country, um, there aren't much, um, you know, kind of you know winds coming from the sea to kind of cool you down or you can't just quickly jump into the sea either um, because you would probably have to drive to you know to some sort of lake which then involves physical movement which on a day like yesterday i prefer not to do at all um, so yesterday we spent the day in the house um, trying to keep the heat out and um, just relax a little bit and um, today it cooled down a little bit in the morning um, it was nice and cloudy we had about 25 degrees but now the sun is back out and uh, we are back at 30 so i think the next couple of days will still be a little bit hot but at least it won't be as hot as um, as yesterday which for me personally is, is just way too much um but in you know in order to cool down a little bit um i have decided that i should have a beer now um and it's a beer that I usually like to have when, um, you know, that these type of beers, when it's really warm, you know, particularly during the summer. I really like the, the kind of lighter beers um, to just really refresh me, um, you know, after whether it's a, it's a long day of work or whether it's, you know, on the weekend and it was just a hot day. And today I'm going to have the Gambrinos Original, um, Gambrinos Original um, 10 which is the, the 10 degree um, Gambrinos um, pale beer. Um, I'm not sure why they call it original, to be really honest. Um, I think um, the Gambrinos 10 may be um, the actual original Gambrinos, um, the way it was um, initially or originally brewed. Um, you know, you, you have different beers where you have one type of, of their brand called original. For example, the Budva, you have the Budva original. Here it is uh, the, the 10 degrees, but with Budva it's the 12 degrees and Gambrinos calls it the original. Um, it comes with 4.3% alcohol content and it's a pale draft beer. Um, so I expect something very easy to drink, um, you know, light bodied, um, you know, kind of light golden color as well um, and, and, and refreshing. And I think that's, uh, that's what I'm really looking for now um, today after, after such a day yesterday. Um, Gambrinos is um, probably one of the more popular brands and by popular I mean um, in the sense that a lot of people know Gambrinos uh, not only here within the Czech Republic but you know also abroad um, you know it's it's a recognized name um, among the Czech beers it's originally from Pilsen um, so from the, the, the city where Pilsen work well is from as well and in fact they actually belong to the Pilsenski Pastoral group um, so they are, you know, in one group together with Pilsen, Urquell, Kozel, um, Radegast and Birl as well. And the many people were proud, uh, which is also part of the, the Prastroy group. And um, yeah, they are from Pilsen as well. So um, let's, um, let's, let's take a look how it maybe compares also to, to the Pilsen, Urquell in, um, in general. Uh, and Gambrinos have, I believe, four no, three beers, if I'm not completely wrong. Um, they have the Gambrinos 10, which is this one. They have the um, Excellent, um, which is the 11, so Gambrinos Excellent. Um, although when you look at um, the bottles or the cans, you wouldn't normally recognize that it's a Gambrinos beer because it mainly says Excellent on the, you know, on the can, whereas here it actually says Gambrinos. And then the um, Gambrinos um, Patron, which is the, um, the 12 degree um, pale lager. Um, let's not talk too much. Um, let's get right at it. Um, today I'm using my uh, Gambrinos glass. Um, maybe you can see it. Um, I, I think all of the kind of Prastroy um, breweries, they all have absolutely beautiful glasses. I really like the shape and form of this. Um, it's nicely white. Um, it's got a nice, um, you know, a nice um, handle. And of course here you can see the Gambrinos logo and the Gambrinos writing as well. 
So I really like this. Um, I think it's just a really beautiful, beautiful glassware. And if you can, I'm not sure if you can see it, maybe I show it like this. Um, here you can see the Gambrinos logo as well um, at the bottom. So, you know, generally really nice glassware. And all of the Plastroy um, breweries, they all have beautiful glassware. Um, Radegast have a similar glass. I think it's actually the kind of same shape, uh, just with the Radegast logo. And then, you know, you have the different types of Pilsner glasses. And of course, the beautiful Cossack glasses, which um, I think are just really piece of art. Um, but enough talking, let's go and uh, check out what this beer is all about. And uh, hopefully it does what, it, what I hope it will do to me today. Yeah, nice, nice smell to it. So let's see. Yeah. And, and, you know, this is kind of, kind of expected, um, a, um, you know, light colored body, um, you know, it, it's not dark, like the kind of, you know, some of the 12 degree beers or 11 even, um, this is relatively kind of pale, um, so really light, light golden color, a nice foamy head, um, that I, unfortunately I do expect it to disappear um, rather shortly, but let's see how long this one will hold. Um, but unfortunately on the 10 degree beers you don't get a kind of long lasting uh, foamy head um, unfortunately but overall I really like the impression of this it's it really looks inviting it looks um, really fresh as well um, so let's let's take a look and um, give this a go Nastavi Yes, yes, this is exactly what I needed after a day like yesterday. Um, it really was just absolutely perfect. Um, really what I was hoping it would do, which is really the refreshing part. And, and this is what I keep saying about the, the 10 degree beers. I'm really a more of a kind of 10 degree, uh, uh, sorry, 11 degree pale lager, ideally even a 12 degree pale lager. So my, my preference is really um, 12 degrees, so kind of beers, you know, with a kind of 5% alcohol content where you get a little bit more, um, you know, a little bit more edge on the beer. Um, here with the 10 degrees, what I mainly want them to do when I have one is to, um, is to refresh me, particularly when they come from, a, um, from an industrial brewery. Which, which Gambrinos is, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. Um, but you know, my expectations are just kind of different when we talk about industrial versus kind of smaller breweries or craft beer breweries. Um, but this is absolutely perfect in the sense that it really just did what I wanted it to do. Now, the first, you know, kind of zips, um, I had a bit of a kind of impression that there was a sweetish note to it, which you tend to get with uh, 10 degree beers, um, you know, in, in the Czech Republic. Um, and then there was a, you know, in, in the finish, I, I did feel a kind of very, very light hop bitterness, um, you know, as, as the kind of um, the, the taste sensation um, just kind of succeeded. Um, I did feel a little bit of a, of a hot bitterness coming through as well. And, and that's something that I really appreciate in a beer, um, you know, sometimes more, sometimes less. It really depends on the beer, but I do like it when there is a bit of hot bitterness coming through at the end. Um, because, you know, especially when we talk about a pale beer, um, you know, obviously with different beer styles, it may be different. Um, but when a pale beer, pale draft beer or pale lager, I normally like it when there is a little bit of hot bitterness coming through, which is definitely the case here. And I really, really, really enjoy it. Um, uh, let me give this another go. Yeah. Really, really well balanced as well. Um, you know, it, it's a light, easy to drink as well. So, you know, it's, it's not a beer where I feel now, you know, after I've had a bit of it, where I can feel it's kind of sinking in and, you know, I'm getting a bit... Um, bloaty or whatever the case may be it's just really easy to drink it goes down extremely easy and again you know that that little bit of hot bitterness at the end something that I really appreciate so overall um, I really think this is um, a great beer 
And when I speak about grade, again, you know, I do have to make that um, differentiation between um, industrial brewery and a mini brewery. Um, because if this would be coming from a mini brewery, I think my verdict would be slightly different because then my expectations would be slightly different as well. But given that this is, you know, coming from an industrial brewery, I think this is absolutely great. Um, I think it's, it's really, it's, it's, it's well done. Absolutely. And it's something that I would recommend. So if you're looking for a beer, you know, on a hot summer day, um, Gambrinos 10 is definitely a, a good beer to go for. Speaking about expectations, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to trying a new beer um, either later today or tomorrow, which is the um, 9 degree um, from um, the Vinoratsky Pivova. Um, I was there just early on today to pick up some beers um, for, for one of the clients. And um, they, they have this, this new beer. Well, I'm, I'm sure, I think it is new at least. Um, because I haven't seen it in my kind of three, four years that I have been regularly going to the brewery. Um, and I haven't seen this one um, before. And it's called Karanska. Karanska 9. Um, so a 9 degree um, pale beer. Um, with a 3.9% alcohol content, um, so a very similar beer to, to the Gambrinos original. But here my expectations will be slightly different because, you know, Vinoradsky Pivova is a small brewery, um, you know, where, where I know they, they usually make great beers, um, you know, the 11-12 degree uh, pale, pale lagers um, are usually um, absolutely outstanding. So here I will be going in with a kind of different uh, set of um, set of expectations um, than I would here. But again, it doesn't mean that this beer is inferior in any way. I think it's absolutely fantastic and it did exactly what I wanted it to do, which was really refresh me and give me a little bit of a kind of beer sensation as well. Because if I just want refreshment, I would probably drink a water. Um, I really think that this is a great beer to drink on a Sunday afternoon, you know, on a hot summer um, day. If you have a light meal, um, you know, for example, a salad or, you know, just maybe a sandwich or whatever the case may be, I think this goes perfectly with it. So I really do recommend it. Um, Gambrinos 10 comes in, um, in, in the cans and in bottles as well. There is one more Gambrinos 10, uh, which is called Gambrinos 10 Dry. Um, that's slightly different to this one. Um, I will review that in another video. Um, but yeah, Gambrinos 10 available in cans and bottles. Um, it also comes in a 0 0.33 can, um, so but they're, they're not widely spread. Um, you know, the, the half liters are the ones that you usually get in the in the supermarkets. Um, they are available everywhere in the Czech Republic, so wherever you go, uh, Gambrinos 10 will be right in your face, most likely. So if you're at the airport, whether you're arriving or leaving, if you're at a train station, you know, and you go to some shop, it will be available there. Of course, it's available in all the supermarkets as well. Um, and of course, in the pubs as well. So I do recommend to try this, um, you know, at, at a pub as well from the tap, um, because, you know, it, it just it just adds that a little bit more more freshness um, as well. So overall, I do recommend it. Gambrinos 10, um, original 10 degree um, draft beer, pale draft beer, 4.3% alcohol from the Gambrinos Brewery in Pilsen. I will finish this. Thank you very much for joining and for, for watching. Um, if you like my videos, um, you know, subscribe to my channel and um, there will definitely be more beer reviews from the Czech Republic but also from other countries um, particularly from Spain as well um, because my stepdaughter came back from um, Spain today I had to pick her up from the airport in the morning um, she visited her grandmother in Spain for two weeks and she brought me back some some Spanish beers which is very nice so I'm looking forward to trying them as well and I think I will do a video on them um, just to maybe share my thoughts as well um, so Subscribe to my channel, stay updated on um, new, new you know, beer reports and new beers on beer news from the Czech Republic. Um, leave a comment. Um, if you have any suggestions, let me know. Any questions, let me know as well and I will come back to you. Thank you very much. Have a nice afternoon. Bye-bye.